One of the issues that uh, I'd be very happy to expand on, and it's actually, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I can't answer the question as well as my colleagues, but I did just take the opportunity today to ask in my office to just copy some preliminary master plan concept maps for the Garden Business Park. And in, in the behind the emergency uh, services area. Yeah, but in the context of uh, your, your letter, your yes. representations and the discussion which you and I had a week or two ago, Alan, I thought that maybe if we began a discussion on um, uh, the, the government's thinking in relation to commercial land release. Um, and I just copied, I had my office copy a few, just a few locational maps um, of, uh, of the, the plan. Um, that's good. Yes, it might not, not be appropriate, Gordon, if you would just give a rundown on, on what, what the government's thinking is in the later. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Just to just to for those of you that might not heard to the, 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 the an outline of this before, but the area that uh, we're proposing for the Gun Garden Business Park is the yeah, oh, sorry, I don't know if any of I think that's just Light reflection is actually a bigger problem. Powerful now, but so I put that up in that the equipment available to us. Yeah, that's good. But uh, so the area we don't have one ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the, the area we're talking about, just to get you oriented, there's Gundaroo Drive uh, coming in there. That's Mozart Street. The existing emergency services building is just there. Um, if you are an uh, existing landmark, so we have about five hectares of land. That we're developing specifically as a business park. Now we use the term business park because it will have to be developed. We'll have to invest in that business park with infrastructure, marketing, and promotion to attract employment of various types out to Gunnar Island Town Centre. We're very, very conscious that there's been a substantial amount of investment in retail development in the town centre, and that's actually continuing with the further development that commences uh, shortly. But it needs to be underpinned by work-based employment. The challenge that we have is that traditionally new town centres in Gungawa have got their start up by a major uh, uh, Commonwealth Government Department being located there. That's the way the Wogan started off, Belconnen and Tuggeron, um, I'm still, I am old enough to remember when the uh, uh, Death Department Social Services was uh, relocated down to Tuggeron to give that a, a number of that's no longer a, a mechanism readily available to us because in the late 1990s, the Commonwealth Government devolved down to its department's responsibility for going to the market and seeking its new accommodation. So what we have to do now is effectively compete in the marketplace. And we do have competitors. Those competitors uh, include existing privately owned leases in the, in the other town centres that can be redeveloped to accommodate um, uh, uh, new office developments. Uh, land that we release in those other town centres, locations like the airport, and the Commonwealth itself, the Department of Finance and Administration, also release land in uh, particularly the Barton area and uh, in the, uh, the Russell Precinct, they have substantial holdings. So we're out there competing. I mentioned the airport, um, and I mentioned that because it's a very useful business model to look at. That's what the airport has done. It's conceived of a well-presented, well-marketed estate underpinned by good ESD principles. They invest, so they risk their own capital constructing buildings. They take that risk and then go seeking tenants. That's the best analogy I could use to describe the sort of concept that we're following for the Gungar business park. We believe that we've got competitive advantage over the, uh, over the airport because Gungar does have a a town centre that provides a, a very good, broad range of services for workers, and it's actually a community, so it's actually close to where a large number of employees live. So there's a benefit there in terms of shorter commuting time, and Alan himself has actually you know, pointed to that, so the benefits that we come from. So that's our concept in the state. What does that mean in terms of um, marketing it? So I just have to flip through to that. We've, we've done quite a bit of initial estate planning work on this. This would have been far more impressive than how I apologise. But if you'll click to the line take, I was going to show you how our thinking evolved in terms of planning. I think, uh, I think Gordon, one of the, just for the, for the, for the um, 
the, the people here today, some of the people could go to some issues around timelines. And, uh, and I think then perhaps just uh, invite some response to them. To them, to them uh, but so we're working through that's a concept at the moment. There's the, there's the existing emergency services area there. Our first releases, which we'll bring to the market in March 2008. So we'll, so we'll, we'll have sale. We'll, we'll, we'll actually have sale. There'll be an auction in, in March 2008. So we will have to lead up in terms of marketing. We'll have an auction of the first releases along Gossard Street, subject to approval by leasing development conditions in March 2008. Now that's a series of six uh, buildings, each one of which is capable of accommodating about 750 square metres of floor space. Why are we starting off with that product? Um, they followed that by about 20 each, so that's six or um, about 5,000 divided by 20. Yeah. Now that's in, that's in the first release. And what, are we tar what we're targeting at there are businesses that are, the, the demand is, the initial demand is actually driven by the rate of the residential growth in Gundar. So think of that as a, the model for that is like the offices you see on Torrance Street in Bradford, if you're familiar with that uh, for development, um, or the Deacon West uh, office precinct around the, uh, the John James Hospital. Followed quickly by the area on the corner, which is two pods each one of 4,000 square feet, so two pods each of 2,000 square feet, which could, so we actually are looking at these buildings at the moment. When, when, would, when would we think that they might be an option? We're actually looking at a process, both of these buildings and the moment, of actually potentially the LDA risking some of its own capital to construct that building and then bring the tenants into so, it. Okay. When would that decision be made? Uh, we would hope to take that to our board before the end of this uh, calendar year. And so we could go out to the market. We'd seek a building park. We're not building this in our own lives. Our marketing agents, um, see, uh, colleagues, are already uh, out there uh, identifying potential tenants that might move into that building. So what we're doing is we're actually having an idea of the tendencies that we could bring in there, take that out to the market, seek someone that would take on build it. We might invest in that ourselves to help underpin some of the risk of that and um, we'll get that one going. But keeping these areas free, there's this little larger lumps because we're still actively out there pursuing a Commonwealth government tenant. The no. Commonwealth's not out in the market at the moment, they're effectively in caretaker government mode because they realise, the departments realise that if they started now that they would be in the middle of a process when it hits caretaker government mode. So all the departments are quite quiet. Has that topic already bolted with the airport and the cheap rent and all the extra office space coming out there, or, um, or are you going to compete? No, no, no. We don't believe we don't believe that the horse has already bolted right, on okay. that because what, that's, that's why we're actually pursuing as many market segments as we can, yep. both the private sector, so businesses that want to be in Gungahlin because they're servicing the Gungahlin community, and Commonwealth government departments and Commonwealth government agencies. <coughs> Because the, the, the dramatic announcements like tend you know, to be whole departments moving into uh, moving into new buildings. And Gordon, that's but a that's, lot of agencies. Um, that's uh, that's precisely the sort of you know thing that we're hoping for, and, and um, I will direct this more towards you.